on sailing Bellachandra. We arrived in Beaufort, saw dolphins, tried our hand at fishing, arrived in Charleston to celebrate Noel's birthday, and then moved on to St. Augustine, Florida. It's our next ride here. Two more payments. She's all ours. out from a long walk. He never falls asleep in the dinghy. You never sleep in the dinghy. What are you doing keeping out in the dinghy? On you get boat. tired? You get tired little bubs? Huh? Just outside of Cape Fear, the only fishing line we have on board broke. While in St. Augustine, we stopped at a fishing supply store, picked up new line and some new lures, and got some instruction on how to properly tie lines for the powerful fish around the Gulf Stream and their sharp teeth. Grab it with your left hand, pinch it down to about the size of a, between the nickel and a quarter. Okay. Take your braided line and you run it up through the loop. And you want to remember which way you came through this loop because you want to go back through the same way every time okay. when you finish this knot. Okay. Get them and pinch all three of them together, all three pieces. Okay. Wind it forward seven times away from the reel. Wow, okay. Stop at seven, okay. and then you're going to want to go back towards the loop seven times. Oh my God. Yeah, that's a lot more. And you, you make sure it goes back through the same way you went went through. Okay. And you take and get it started, and then and pull it. Oh wow! You like that? Yeah, that's great. Is that cool? Yeah, that's really cool. Because it cool. slides right through the rod eyes without tearing the eyes out. I bet. Cape Canaveral, Florida, and that is a SpaceX rocket right there on the launch pad, ready to go. And guess what? They're gonna launch it in a few minutes. We're just passing Cape Canaveral now. We left St. Augustine yesterday afternoon, sailed all night, had amazing wind the entire time. We didn't run the motor once, which is great. But now we're paying for it with this huge following sea behind us. I mean, it's huge. We're only sailing with just the main up. We had to furl in the jib. It was just too much. It was too much to have the main and the jib out in this wind and the sea. Like we were gusting up to 30 knots, getting overpowering. There's a safe zone. We fought hard to get way the heck out here, but we're in the safety zone now. We're not interfering with the launch. I guess if your boat is inside that zone, they might not launch the rocket. It's that serious. T minus 60 seconds or so. It's gonna be good. Catching up on social media. Yeah. It's important. 
All right, we got a fish on. Our first Florida fish, our first fish of the trip, actually. That's an eating fish. There we go, that's our first fish of the trip. We bagged our first fish, he's in the fridge now. Caught him on squid. I went to a fishing store back in uh, St. Augustine. I grabbed some extra things that I didn't have before. Like you need a wire for fish that have teeth. I got a squid that I could put a weight in the squid's head, so that's what I did. Anyway, hopefully we'll catch something else. Morning, Zeus. Where are we? Where are we? West Palm Beach, baby. So that's the ocean just out there through the inlet. We're anchored over here. Peanut Island is just really close to this part of Palm Beach. And here we are at Peanut Island on the beach. It's beautiful, there's palm trees, it's so nice. I think we're gonna go for a little snorkel, maybe. We'll swim later on, we got Zeus. Take the sunny day to barbecue. barbecue. Marinated chicken breasts and Noel marinated them. And I don't know if any of you guys know but like we've been eating pretty much vegetarian but we've lost so much weight sailing that uh, we've been forced to go back to eating meat. So. No barking Zeus! We just left West Palm Beach. We're sailing right along the coast here because the Gulf Stream is actually pretty close here in this part of Florida so we have to get really close to shore just to avoid that current. Today we're sailing for Fort Lauderdale. It's a really light wind. We just got the jib up. It's kind of flopping there right now but uh, the wind should pick up a little bit later and hopefully we'll get on a beam reach. That's kind of the plan. We actually tried to leave yesterday but the wind gusts were up to 30 knots up here. And it's, it's never quite what they predict. I think as a rule Whenever you're gonna go out someplace in the Atlantic Ocean, you wanna expect five to 10 knots more than what the weather says. I don't care what app you're using or whatever. I mean, you know, you can really overthink it too, but as a rule for us, every time we predict weather, we pretty much have to add five to 10 knots. And that's on top of the gusts. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy watching our videos, please don't forget to subscribe. Also, leave us a like or a comment below. We enjoy reading those. That's right. And if you haven't checked out our Patreon page, we encourage you to go check that out. Just click on the P here in the corner. If it looks like something that you'd like to do, you know every little bit helps. Thanks, guys. See you later.